Say hello to my subscribers right there. Hey, we we part of the company. We got we part of that guy right there. It's the best mechanic there. Yeah, and yeah, uh, now he's an influencer in no, YouTube. No, no. Serious. <laughs> That's one of the best mechanics. Uh, What's up my guys, this is Holmes Law on another video, if you haven't been on this channel before, my name is Mel, welcome to the channel, please subscribe. So, what I wanted to do was, I wanted to start this actual video on a little continuation from the last one that I had did on D-Rating Simplified. I wanted to make a correction, okay, there was an error that I had did and I forgot to mention that the terminal rating was actually 75 degrees. Now I'm going to show you what I mean in a second. Let's go to that slide so that I can actually show you what the error was. Now if you see here this underlined statement right here I did not write that the terminal ratings were supposed to be for 75 degrees okay that's why I went directly to the 75 degree column now if out in the field now let me mention that this is not the videos that I actually show are not made for you know if you're gonna be taking a test or whatever the case may be or whatever um this is more for real life situations out in the field not that it could be wrong or anything i'm just saying that it's not really made for tests or anything like that you know i'm trying to show you things that you would be using out in the field now i wrote here terminal ratings of 75 degrees and that's what i had slipped up and missed on the last video okay so that's why i directly went to the 75 degree column for this four gauge thhn and picked it okay now <clears throat> Out in the field, most of the terminal ratings are for 75 degrees. You still have some out there that are for 60 degrees as well, though. So that's why it's always good to pay attention and actually look for those terminal ratings. Okay, so I just wanted to make that correction and wanted to let you know that the terminal ratings were for 75 degrees in case some of you were wondering, you know, why didn't I go to the 60 degree column, you know, how people usually go when it's 100 amps or less okay this is the reason why i slipped up and i was supposed to say that the terminal ratings for this example were 75 degrees okay <clears throat> so and now to get started with the actual video now so that we can start this video with ampacity adjustment for mc and ac cables over 20 conductors now <clears throat> i will explain as we go in the video there are some exceptions that we need to actually go through before you you know before i actually break this down and tell you what this is all about now let's start the video and um let's start with this first example okay now for this example let's just say that just bear with me okay for this for video right now let's just say that we have 11 conductors bundled together they're all 12 twos okay they're mc cables and they're all feeding fluorescent lighting loads okay they're continuous loads and they're bundled together let's just say 25 feet long and they're bundled all together okay the circuit is a 120 volt lighting circuit as i just said and they're all pulling 16 amps all right the neutrals are current carrying conductor okay so we're going to count that as well okay so your first step would be to actually you know calculate the conductors that you have all together which it would be 11 cables times 2 because the neutral is a current carrying conductor like we just said okay so that brings us to 22 conductors we're over 20 conductors okay now you can apply this 60 percent adjustment factor Okay, which I'm going to get into a little more, you know, in, in the future. Okay, in the near future in this video, I'm going to get into it. But you can apply this 60% adjustment factor, okay, for these MC and AC cables. All right. And next, we would actually go and apply it. Okay, so 30 amps times 0.60 which is the 60 percent in decimal value is going to give us 18 amps the 30 amps is where i'm getting it from the actual 90 degree column 
okay under the opacity chart nothing changes i still have i can still use 90 degree column to actually derate okay the only thing is i'm actually derating by 60 percent um by a 60 percent adjustment factor okay and it comes out to 18 amps which is good for our for our lighting circuit because we're only using 16 okay the overcurrent protection is going to be the same it's still going to you know with 20 amps is, is still going to work for our our lighting circuits okay <clears throat> and um i wanted to get into a little more into this actual 60 percent adjustment factor okay now for any other situation you would use your regular derating calculation and steps okay but you do have in the code a special you know couple of rules that they give you okay and i'm going to go into example number two where it states that if you have mc or ac cables that don't have an outer jacket meaning you know that that uh the mc cable that's for outdoors it has that pvc jacket if you don't have that okay and if it's regular mc you know cable jacket and it's not more than three current carrying conductors okay so it's not more than three conductors that are carrying current and they're number 12s okay and then number 12s and also lastly if you have less than 20 conductors like we just counted them then you don't have to apply any adjustment factors none but you still have to do temperature correction and you know you still have to do that okay if you know you happen to have to you know do that calculation temperature correction then you still have to do apply that now but if you if you have those that I just said, you don't have to apply any, okay? But get this, get this. Now, if you do happen to have more than 20 conductors, okay, but you have no more than three current carrying conductors, so less than three current carrying conductors or three current carrying conductors, and they're still number 12s okay and they have no pvc jacket but you do have more than 20 conductors then you can apply the 60 percent adjustment factor okay you can apply that if you have more than 20. so those those three other rules you have to have in order to be able to apply that 60 percent if you don't then you have to go back to your the regular you know adjustment factor table and count how many you have and look in the column to see how many you know how what what you fall under okay so this is just a special rule here that i wanted to actually share with you guys because a lot of guys probably don't even know it exists or don't know really how to use this to their advantage and they're using the regular derating chart you know what i'm saying so let's just go to this now that i explained it a little bit i'll go into more details but let's go to this example here so let's just say we have <clears throat> bundled together okay five twelve threes and four twelve twos now bear with me this is just you know you know bear with me with the example all right <clears throat> just trying to put this together here so that we could you know i could show you how to actually apply this 60 percent um adjustment factor okay so we have these mc cables all bundled together let's just say again they're feeding some lighting circuits and some three-phase pumps okay um the the 12 threes are feeding three-phase pumps let's just say we're using the new the the white conductor as a as a um as a current current conductor let's just you know we're just we're just making this environment right now let's just say that we are using it for for these pumps and we're using the neutral as a as a current carrying conductor let's just just bear with me okay so three all those three conductors are are, are, are current carrying conductors okay now let's just say um you know they're bundled together for 25 feet all right they're terminated in 75 degree terminals and the ambient temperature is perfect it's at 86 degrees okay 
<clears throat> now we do our calculations and we come up with 23 conductors like it says here on the bottom in yellow okay so we're over the 20 but obviously we have no more than three current carrying conductors in our bundle they're all 12 they have no PVC jacket but we're over the 20 we can apply the 60 percent adjustment factor here okay so after we apply it that means that our cable is now only a cable i mean a, a conductor that can only carry 18 amps which is still good for our loads okay whether it be for the for the lights or the the, the pumps they're still good for our load and a 20 amp circuit breaker would still be good okay now i just wanted to give you examples on those you know so you have an understanding of how to apply that 60 percent and when you can apply that 60 percent in any other circumstance you would have to use the regular derating table okay the irregular adjustment factor table okay just wanted to be clear with that that in you know in uh that table would be uh 310 that dot 15 b3a in the 2017 code and uh table 310.15 b2a in the 2008 the reason why i bring up the 2008 is because here in new york city we're still back in ancient times <clears throat> so we're still on uh 2008 okay and that 60 percent adjustment factor if you want to know the code reference to it for the 2017 it's going to be 310.15 b34a through d okay exception to four and for the 2008 it's going to be 310.15 b2a exception number five okay you can read that yourselves and actually um yeah you know look it up and uh, read it yourself so you can get a better understanding of it. You know what I mean? And um, so, like I said, this would, this is the um, ampacity chart that you would have to go to if none of those rules are applying to you in your circumstance. Okay, you would have to go back to the regular table and just do it and a regular adjustment factor, a regular derating calculation, like any other. If you don't, if those none of those rules apply to you, okay. Uh, like let's just say you have 10 gauge, you know, 10 threes in there, whatever the case may be. If it's none of those three apply, if it's not PVC, if, if you have PVC jacket or if it's um, not 12 gauge and, and you have more than three current current conductors, then then that 60 percent um, does not apply to you. You cannot use it. You have to go back to the regular, which is this table right here. OK, now also i would like to mention is that still excuse me let me just get this off the screen okay so the temperature corrections you still have still do apply okay we still have to use this temperature correction in our calculation i didn't show it an example okay i just wanted to make it simple but still in all we have to apply this temperature correction you know anytime you're doing a derating okay <clears throat> just wanted to make sure that you understand that all right now just okay so just wanted to you to know okay exactly you know um where you find these terminal ratings you know as well i mean i wasn't really speaking about this but i want you to know where you find terminal ratings on disconnects or what it looks like on panels or switch gear whatever the case may be you know when if you look at this here it says use copper 75 degrees copper aluminum wire or whatever the case may be you know this is on a disconnect also on a disconnect is you can find it here it says use 75 degree copper or aluminum wire on a switch gear on this left side over here where it says use class l fuses down here on the bottom it'll say terminals suited for bus connection when cable connected use 90 degree c celsius conductors based on ampacity at 75 
Okay, so that's just a few examples of where and what it looks like when you're looking at these terminal ratings. I know we didn't talk about that in this video, but I wanted to actually show you a little bit about that as well too. Okay, because it does have to do with that in some way. Okay, now guys, I want to thank you so much for watching me and um, I'm hoping that you're getting something out of these videos. If you want me to continue on with these electrical calculations please you know let me know if you want to know anything else any other electrical calculation videos uh this one was requested i, I did it sorry if i took long coming out with the video <clears throat> i do have other videos that are in the process right now conduit bending videos that i have in the process guys please like share subscribe you know tell your co-friends and workers about this um I'm also on podcast now. If you want to go to anchor.fm homes hyphen law, it'll show you all the podcast, major podcasts that you know I'm on. <clears throat> but um guys, I appreciate all the subscribers that I have, all the comments. I try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Uh bear with me. You know, it does take me a little time to answer sometimes. I am a little busy. I do have a nine to five still, you know. <clears throat> but um it does, you know what I'm saying, I, I, I'm humbled by all the comments and all the remarks that I've got, you know, like, I'm, I really appreciate it. Um, other than that, you know, this is Holmes Law, I'm signing out, peace.